Hey folks, your OS Reviews, you're watching our video first look at the HP ProBook 650G1. This is a 15.6 inch business oriented laptop that has a rather sleek design as well as pretty good specs underneath the hood. You can expect a Intel Core i5 chipset, which is the fourth generation model that comes with 2.5 gigahertz and it also has 500 gigs of hard drive built in as well as 8 gigs of built in RAM, so you get pretty good speed on board. Since this is a business oriented laptop, users can opt for Windows 7 Professional Edition or for Windows 8 Pro, you can also upgrade it to Windows 10, which is now available. Otherwise, it also features a standard CD slash DVD slot, as well as Bluetooth 4.0, and has a 15.6 inch standard resolution display, which is 1366 by 768. You can also opt for a full HD panel, but that's going to cost you a little bit extra. In terms of price, we're talking about roughly a thousand bucks, which is a fair price to pay again for these specs, and again, a pretty sleek and elegant modern design. You can pick this up directly through HP's website, or also on Amazon.com. Taking a quick look at the design here, we have a soft touch rubber material on the front, which makes it pretty easy to grip and also resists any fingerprints. The HP logo on top there is very on the right-hand spine of the laptop, users will find access to a Kingsington lock, a VGA output, and also a SATA hard drive port. There are two USB ports, which is capable of both USB 3.0 speeds, which is 5 gigabits per second, and is backwards compatible with USB 2.0 devices. There's also a 3.5 millimeter headphone port. And on the other side, users will find access to a proprietary HP charging port, a Ethernet port for connecting to the internet without use of Wi-Fi, as well as three additional USB 2.0 sockets, which are a little bit too spaced together for my taste. There's also the addition of a full-size SD card reader, which is a convenient plus. On the back is some basic info about the unit. Notice that there is a docking station, and you can purchase a dock separately from HP for roughly $200. That allows you to connect even more USB sockets, as well as display sockets and some other extras as well. So the design, again, is pretty clean. On the front, you have some LED indicators that will tell you when the laptop is on, when it's charging, and when Wi-Fi is being turned on. If we open up the laptop really quickly, we can see there is a matte display, which is 15.6 inches. Again, that makes the display visible even under direct sunlight and also increases the viewing angles of this particular laptop. There's also the addition of a webcam, which offers HD resolution, as well as two noise-canceling microphones for any conference calls using Skype or any other applications. Now below here, we have access just to the HP logo. You can see that the bezels around this particular screen are pretty slim and attractive. There's also the addition of a wide speaker bar, which makes sound quality another plus on this laptop. Again, this one isn't partnered specifically with anything like Beats for some more consumer-oriented laptops from HP's lineup, but the speakerphone quality on here is also decent uh, if you plan on doing it for video conferencing. It's also pretty good uh, when you are using it to watch back any videos. You also find access to a power on off port, which is backlit, as well as quick controls for turning the Wi-Fi on off, as well as for muting the sound. The keyboard on the ProBook 650 is a tactile island style layout. It's chiclet and it's very responsive. All the keys are nicely spaced apart and they're risen above the surface, which makes it pretty easy for typing by feel. The spacebar is nicely centered and has a clicky sound to it when being pressed, and there's also a dedicated number pad for doing any quick calculations. For added security, HP has put in a fingerprint reader on the 650 G1. It makes it possible for users to set up some extra security for business purposes. There's also an oversized touchpad, which supports any multi-touch gestures, such as pinch to zoom and switching orientations in Windows 7 as well as 8. And double-clicking on the dot over here also turns the uh, or disables the touchpad when not being in use. The two click keys for left and right are also pretty large, responsive, and easy to tap and press. So overall, a very clean presentation across the board. The hinge here also feels quite sturdy, as opposed to having only uh, two separate hinges on each side of the laptop. You'll notice that it comes across the entire uh, front of the actual uh, device, which makes it a bit more sturdy, and it feels like it's not going to wear down or break as easily. You can open and close the lid, and I feel like it's going to last. So even though the construction quality is primarily made out of plastic, I feel like this is a pretty sturdy construction to that use of rubber materials and it feels quite solid uh, when using it and toting it around. So over the next few days we will continuously test out the performance of this laptop and give you guys our opinion on how fast it runs, its performance, as well as whether or not we would recommend it for business users and perhaps for consumers that are looking for a laptop that is a bit more demanding with better specifications. But that's going to do it for us right now. Thanks for watching this video first look here at OS Reviews. This has been the HP ProBook series 650 G1 laptop computer. Thanks for watching, your OS.